Good morning, everyone. Sheila here in North Carolina in the studio of Dreamy Bohemian. Yes, indeed, I have arrived, and now we are preparing for the retreat that is going to be happening in Vermont here in a week and a bit. That is very exciting. So I'm here because I want to show you some of the pieces that Randy has been working on um, over the course of the last couple of months. And I am just so excited to be here. It's really nice. My trip was basically uneventful, just a little bit long. But all in all, um, it was there was no issues at all. And here we are, we're gonna take a little look at some of these beautiful little batik journals that Randy's been working on for the last while. She has a whole basket full. And she is just beside me working on a few more, but she has ixnayed me in uh, doing a little shot of her working. She's like, that's not going to happen right now. All right, so I'm back here. I want to do a little flip through of this beautiful little batik journal. But before I do that, I want Randy to say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi, Randy. She's just getting herself organized over there, but she won't let me do a little shot of her. So anyway, um, look at this beautiful little journal that Randy gifted me she made this for me oh i'm so happy they're so pretty look at those beautiful dangles and they sparkle 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 so if you're coming to the retreat you are in for a treat i've got a few sitting here they weren't sitting in the basket so i thought i would just pop them here because they're all different colors so we're just going to open it up they're all tied with this um, beautiful hand dyed um, silk ribbon so pretty and the way randy puts colors together is just incredible um i just love 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 the way she does her does her little journals these batiks are just so precious so she appliques she puts appliques on the front and she layers them these are done with velvet and an applique on her beautiful batik fabrics that she has purchased from somewhere i think that she has a link in one of her videos. And I'm going to link that in the description box. I'm gonna link all her information in the description box too, so that you can find her and follow her because she is definitely an incredible artist. So all her papers inside, and these are naked journals. So that means that she hasn't um, decorated them for us. We are supposed to decorate them ourselves, which is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Mine is going to get decorated. And all of these papers are jelly prints. And the work that she puts into doing her jelly prints is very incredible. Um, she's got different videos where she shows off her jelly printed papers. And I'm going to link that in the description box also. But we're just going to do a quick flip through of this because I want to flip through something else that she um, put together that I haven't seen before. And um, I want to show you that in this video also. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. And the papers are so smooth. Um, I did jelly printing a while back. Mine aren't that smooth. They just aren't. These are really, really pretty papers. And these signatures, um, these little journals have four signatures. And how many papers are in each signature, Randy? So it has 160 pages total. Wow, 160 pages total. Look Back at the in front back and front. Look at the vibrancy of this. And what you're seeing is exactly what I'm seeing, which doesn't happen very often. <laughs> doesn't happen very often at all. I just love it. I love that. Love this too. Love this color though. So we're just going to do a little flip through of the papers. So you can kind of see all the variety and colors and the beads, each signature is tied in with some special, um, special floss, uh, embroidery floss. 
with the pretty beads. Oh, I just love that. That kind of captivates me. I love it. All the different colors. So much work goes into making these jelly prints. But it is a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it when I finally get back home. I love that color. So there's a lot that you can do in this little journal. And when you close it up, you can see that Journey, Journey, you can see that Randy has put together these journals so that when we fill them up, they're not going to be alligator mouth. So there's so much room in them um, for us to decorate. So now I'm going to show you what a decorated journal actually looks like. Randy's been working on this and it's not complete, but I told her that I have to show you um, because is just so pretty. And she's bringing this one to the retreat also. That's kind of my daily, I just want to get creative little journal is what that is. So I don't try to finish it. You know what I mean? Yes. It's yes. just a, a work in progress. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know you've been putting a lot of work into it so that you can show us actually what you've been doing yeah. and how to use them. Right. I love that. Look at those beads. Aren't they beautiful? Ugh. So it is a batik cover, also on velvet, and Randy uses a lot of the trim packages. She uses the textile packages so much, and she really understands how to put them together. She's, to me, she's a color artist. I love that. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And the stitching. You can't go wrong with these. Everything works in this journal. There is randomness and there is not a lot of coordination because it doesn't call for it. Just beautiful. What you're going to see in here is a lot of collages, a lot of um, just tags and tabs and stitching. And you can de decorate them however you like. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that be pretty to have your family, a family picture there? And it's just a collage of paper, embossed paper, multiple pieces of snips that, you know, most of us throw away. Um, Randy uses them. She doesn't throw her snips away. I have snip garbage. Lots. Because I haven't been able to um i don't have the understanding of how it all goes together like this i think you do <laughs> <laughs> oh great you just don't have time to do it and there there's a truth to that and this randy took her pen and she just wrote wonderful little bits and pieces and sayings into the design and it just looks beautiful i love that it's like a book of ideas i'd like to take this one home with me and that's why we're videoing it so that it can come home with me because i've been told i can't have this one and more of her beautiful handwriting it truly is an art i love that Mm -hmm. I love that color and that I think that some of that is my favorite trims I just love the way all these pieces just flow together oh and she gives herself ideas of what she still need, wants to add and then she writes herself a little note for later which I found kind of interesting. I should I should do that too, and then I wouldn't forget. Because you know how we think, oh, we'll do that, and then we're going to do it later, and then we just completely forget what we were doing. And I think Randy also makes herself uh, cluster strips, or what do we call those, Randy? Um, they're 
Just snippet rolls. Oh, yeah, snippet rolls. Yeah, but mine are a little crazy. So. Yeah, she does crazy. So this is her. This is a snippet roll of Randy's. And she takes all sorts of pieces, and she just stitches that together. Yeah, it looks crazy. <laughs> it does. She says it looks crazy. And then she'll take and cut a piece like this, and she just lays it down. And here's another one. Like, don't throw your snips away. Don't do it. Save them because this is what Randy uses then if she needs us a piece of color. Yeah, my dog kind of ate that end of it. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you go. It's missing pieces. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's really cute, but he, <laughs> but he's very busy. He loves me. He came looking for me this morning. Oh, I love Ollie. I love this picture. Look at, look how pretty it just lays here like this. And, oh, just so pretty. I, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love gold. I need to learn how to gold it up. And this here is embossing. That must have been a stamp. Um, so I used a stencil and some art glitter glue, and then I put the gold leaf over it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that touch. I love That's it. That's the first time I tried it, and it worked out really well. Yeah, it looks good. And here's just a little jewel hanging off of just a little fabric cluster. I hope that this is giving you ideas on how fun it is to work with color. And I hope that you will find Randy because she... Everything she does is colorful. She works in color, and I have learned so much from her. And, you know, just for giving yourself a little Bible verse, even, to remind you of something you've been through or something someone else is going through, something you don't want to forget, right? You just include it on a random paper. As you can see, Randy doesn't work front to back. She kind of is all over the map. <laughs> She's all over the place. <laughs> Welcome to my brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here's another little note to self. Um, she's gone through this and decided that, you know, she would, she thinks that that would look really nice. There a piece of washi or a, a fabric flounce. She writes herself little notes. I think that's such a good idea. I love that. I love that color. I think people are intimidated sometimes by a white piece of paper that they have to decorate. Yes. And I think the paint is like your automatic background on those, and that helps so much. Yes. Just a little tag, but the color is beautiful. Topped off with a bit of silk, and you know, it just blends right in with the rest. You don't even notice it's white. Love it. Such a beautiful little, mm -hmm. little picture, little collage, paper collage. I hope this inspires you to pick up, pick up your paint, pick up your jelly, your jelly plate and just play because uh, there are no mistakes in this at all. Well, that's not true. I made a lot of mistakes because I tore my paper. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I tore my nice paper over and over. I was like, what's going on? But it was the jelly plate. It wasn't me. <laughs> that's what we're going with. And there are so many stencils out there that you can pick up um, and Make your own. There are ideas on YouTube how to even make your own. But anything goes in jelly printing. Anything. I would love that. I'm a sucker for polka dots. Mm -hmm. I love polka dots. I love them. And that is the end. And when you look at this, there's it's not alligator mouth at all. It's just a beautiful um, journal that has plenty of room, even still, to grow. And it's very soft. Very, very soft. I hope that you have enjoyed this flip through of these beautiful, beautiful journals. 
and how much time Randy has taken to actually show us um, what can be done with color, with, um, with just your snips even, how you put them together. I sure hope that um, you will go and visit her on her channel and that you will just uh, tell her I sent you. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be getting back to you. We're heading off to Vermont here next Saturday. Is that right? Next yep. Saturday. Yep. Yeah. And so we're hoping that you all have a wonderful, wonderful week, week ahead. And happy Easter. Bye-bye. <laughs>